Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In the past I've made several videos about target display mode on IMAX and since I still get a lot of questions about it I wanted to make another video. Since target display mode is very limited in what IMAX are actually capable of doing it, I wanted to show you the most compatible way of making it work. Which means, unfortunately for most IMAX, it can really only be done on the 2009 and 2010 27 inch iMac models. Apple says it works on the 24 inch models, but in my other videos I've gotten mixed comments on whether that really works or not, so it may be possible, but it seems hit or miss for most. Unfortunately, the 2011 to mid-2014 iMacs were only able to do target display mode on certain other Macs from their time period, and can't be used with any of the newer ARM-based Macs, PCs, or anything else. Also, Apple killed target display mode on any iMac after mid-2014, so those can never be used. And I'll put a chart I made on the subject in the video description. So if you have a 27-inch 2009 or 2010 iMac like I have here, and you want to use it for a display, you need to know there are several possible issues. First, the computer has to be bootable to the desktop. If it doesn't work and can't make it to the desktop, you won't be able to do this. Also. You are running a whole computer as a monitor, so it does use the same electricity and generate the same heat as if you were just using the iMac on its own as its own computer. And finally, you'll need to have a mouse and keyboard connected to the iMac to enable target display mode. If you still want to use one of these Macs as a monitor, you have several options to connect it to a Mac or PC, and I'll go over those now. And as a side note, it may or may not work with video game consoles. I know a lot of people ask if it works with the PlayStation 5. I have not been able to get it to work, so I'm not sure where the issue is, either on the iMac side or the PS5 side. So your results may vary there. First, and probably most compatible, is with a unidirectional HDMI to DisplayPort adapter. And it's important that you get a unidirectional one. So with the cable I have here, it has an HDMI port on one end to go into your other device, and then a port here where you can use a DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort cable to connect to your iMac, like the one I have here. So I'll demonstrate how this works with HDMI. So on this adapter I have, it has, of course, got the Mini DisplayPort cable, and it has this other HDMI cable that it uses as well. So what I'll do is I'll just plug both of these into the back of the iMac to start. So I got the USB and the mini display port plugged into the back of the iMac here. And then I'll connect the HDMI side to my laptop here. And from there, on the keyboard connected to the iMac, I'll go and push Command F2. And it'll switch over and become a second display for the laptop there. This will also work on any Mac, and especially newer Macs, like a, this M2 Mac Mini that I have here. So push Command F2, it's connected with HDMI. And there we go. If you wanted to connect it to a PC with a DisplayPort output, you would just get a cable like this that has DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort, and you'll be set. And if your computer supports it, you can also use a USB-C to Mini DisplayPort cable. And like I said at the beginning, this is only going to work with a 2009 or 2010 27-inch iMac model like this. I hope this video has been helpful and informative to you. I'll put links in the description to the cables. So thank you for watching and take care.